What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video. We got the Ford sitting behind me. A lot's actually changed with it since you all last seen it. I did get the bed off of it, finished cleaning up the frame. I removed the wiring harness and the brake line and the fuel line all the way from the back. And I got the wiring harness actually in the front of the cab. Uh, today we're going to be reinstalling some of that brake line, the fuel line. And I got a couple of uh, compression fittings so hopefully we can get the uh, fuel line put back together pretty decent and I did remove the brake porting valve I believe that's what it's called and I'll actually show you all that here in just a second but I removed that one off from the frame thought that maybe that was some of my brake issue that I had I had a I could get some of the brake pressure but it didn't hold brake pressure if it sat for like overnight or something like that so hopefully cleaning it and putting them back on will help out a lot I did have a lot of dirt on the frame like caked with mud and it was just sitting there so whenever I pulled off the brake porting valve so I tried to scrape off some of that mud and I think it's going to come down to it where I'm going to have to remove this cab off this truck to actually get and clean it as well as I really wanted to but I mean if I have to I have to but I don't I just I just don't know how I'm going to actually get this cab off this truck without having any sort of lift or anything like that so that's my biggest problem now but I'll, I'll show you all the frame here. Uh, I actually got a lot taken care of on the inside, top side, back side, and everything. I didn't want to take out the fuel tank, so I actually left this here on the inside. And I know it doesn't look that pretty, but I figured that ain't nobody going to see it anyway, so what's it really matter? Uh, the fuel line itself. I don't know if y'all remember looking at my first video, but it was actually held together with three different separate parts of a fuel line. So I got here, this is uh, probably about 15 foot of hose, so I think that this will be enough to reach from the back all the way back up to the front, and I shouldn't have any problems there. I'll probably reinsert that uh, the fuel filter itself, and then we'll be good to go, guys. So. Uh, do y'all just hang tight and I'll slap some of this back together. Um, well, actually, before I get into that, I wanted to show y'all the uh, the wiring harness where I brought it up to the front. I've actually got it up here at the front of the cab now. And this wiring harness stretches all the way to the back. But I had to, well, I re-taped around the entire wiring harness to give it a nice, nice appeal whenever I put it back in that way it's not looking all ugly this one plug here I wasn't sure exactly what it went to but I mean it wasn't hooked to anything I just kind of taped it but I left the plug hanging out in case I, I do figure out eventually what it goes to the rest of it is also taped up on this runs all the way back to the rear used all electrical tape Pulled it all the way up to the front. It was a lot easier once I got the brake line and everything out. So it's been sitting in my garage just leaking fuel and brake fluid. So I'm going to get it back together here soon. That way it quits leaking. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you all the uh, porting valve. So this is the brake line porting valve. And this thing was, I mean, you couldn't even tell that it was a piece of metal, honestly. It looked like a, like a bunch of dirt sitting there. But this right here, guys, is the, is the initial ABS. I guess this is like where they started to introduce ABS to uh, vehicles now. I don't know exactly what it does, but I mean, I mean, I guess it's an ABS. That's the only thing I could figure but it was so dirty guys, like I couldn't even tell that this was actually rubber here on the end. Turns out that it is. So I got two lines that run in here. These two lines supply brake fluid from my master cylinder. And then this port here actually supplies uh, brake fluid to the front. And then this one here actually supplies brake fluid to the rear. So it's kind of, kind of finicky, but it's like... It's pretty smart if you actually think about it, but hopefully we'll be, well actually I'll get this back in here today guys. I don't see any reason to keep it out anymore. It's not doing any good hanging out. Uh, I got a bunch of fasteners here as well. So 
We can fasten the wiring harness back to the frame. I pulled the battery out, so I'll be putting that on uh, charge here soon, so that won't die. Uh, I got a bunch of other parts, and my wife's been practicing welding, so whenever she feels like she's comfortable, we're gonna go ahead and get into these floor pans and the rest in the interior as well. But just sit tight, guys. I'll throw all this back together for you real quick. All right, guys. So here's this that uh, session section of brake line that I initially replaced when we first got this truck. And I'm going to be putting this back in, and I'll try to fasten it to the frame. But I'm not sure if I actually have enough hardware to actually get that done tonight. So it might just have to sit here. I'll just slide this dude back in here. Back to the cross members. So I don't remember if I told you all this, but whenever I, whenever I uh, was trying to redo these brake lines here in the rear and actually get the rear brake drums to work, this line right here was actually filled with rust. That's how bad these brake lines were, guys. And I was, I was being like really cheap and I went ahead and just took the line off and I had a wire here and a bunch of brake cleaner and I was spraying it down through there. and. Eventually, I got it to free up, and it was a lot of fluid, fluid to pass through it once again, so I'm going to let it ride on here for a while. I'll probably replace it. Um, I know I was talking about getting into the axle, but after doing some more research, I'm not sure if that's something that I'm capable of doing right now or something that I'm willing to tear into just yet. Uh, I'll probably wait for that, actually, but... Got the rear back on, Let's tighten this back down real quick. All right, while well, I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and start feeding this wiring harness back down through here. I don't see any point in keeping it up here. As like I said, I wanted to set it up alongside the frame rail. Might be easier to start with the rear. Beat it back down there the way that it was. I'll show you on a second whenever I get underneath the truck. Because I didn't clean it up. The amount of dirt that's sitting underneath of this truck and in the drip pan that I have underneath there. Filled with dirt. And that's that's not even... That's probably the worst part, but it could have been worse. Uh, also, right now, we don't have an exhaust on the truck. That got in my way too many times, so I cut it off. It wasn't nothing but a piece of junk anyways. The guy had crappy welds on it, and there was a Cadillac converter on there, which I really didn't want on there anymore, because I don't live in California, so I don't need to worry about that. I think the uh, clutch is actually getting in the way. I'll get this wiring harness pulled down through and I'll get you all back on the, on the video with me. If y'all made it this far in the video, then you've seen that I just installed that wiring harness. I put it all the way back to the rear. Uh, I'm actually about to install the fuel line. Uh, originally, the fuel line was made out of, it's kind of like a brake line, it's the same material. Ran all the way from the rear to the front, it rusted out. And the previous owner that had this truck before me replaced it with the multiple sections of brake line. And now I have about a 15 foot section of 
some gates. It's rated for 50 PSI. Uh, it's rated for fuel as well. So y'all don't need to worry about that. Hopefully this fuel line will last me the entire time. I'm going to replace it with the fuel filter that was originally on it. By originally, I mean the guy who owned it before me had it installed. And it didn't look too, too bad in there. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with some brake cleaner just to make sure that it's good to go. And I don't have any complications because I remember when I first got the truck to start, it took a lot of rust whenever I had... When I started it, I don't know where it came from exactly, but there was a there was a lot of rust just collecting like right here, and I, I'm actually glad that he had thought to install this, and that it was actually doing its job. So I don't think that there's actually a way to take this apart. This is actually glass, so I'm I'm gonna have to figure out a way to actually secure this so that it doesn't bounce and break underneath the truck. That would be a bad day because all of a sudden you're driving and then all of a sudden you're out of gas when really you're not. You just blew out your fuel, your fuel filter. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this back in. Now I'm going to clean this up first before I do that. Uh, I got enough hose clamps so I just laid it out. I got enough section here to actually make it from the front to the back of the truck. And just sit tight guys. Don't get this thrown into the truck. It, by the way, if y'all made it this far, go ahead and comment down below on anything that I've done that y'all wanted to see more of, and give this video a thumbs up, because it really would help the channel grow. I'm just now starting off, so this would be really good for me. Tell your friends, tell your family. If you like the build so far, that's up to you. Uh, if not, then cool. Thanks. Alright guys, just got the brake line fully installed, and what better place to put the uh, fuel filter than in an open spot where it's easily accessible so I figured the best spot would be right here on the frame and it would be like a foot or two off from the cab so I think the worst case scenario I got maybe a rock or something that slings up somehow from the drive shaft magically and then shatters my fuel filter I did clean it out with some brake cleaner so I'll go ahead and slap this in here and clamp it down and then we'll have a new fuel line and wiring harness has been cleaned up and that'll about wrap it up for the night. Alright guys, I've got this all wrapped up with all the what all I plan on doing this evening. Uh, got the new fuel line in, part of the brake line in, wiring harness was taped up, wrapped all the way up to the end. I just kinda wanted to give you all an update on like what all I've been doing in this truck. Like I said, a lot of progress started. Uh, I do want to show you all the bolt that I actually cut off there the last time that y'all seen in my last video. Uh, I was So I had to cut it off and I actually welded the nut on it and I might just have to reuse it. It kind of turned out well enough to hold the bumper back on. So we'll see, but it's all wrapped up. I didn't get the porting valve put back on plan on waiting on that. I did soak that on some uh, diesel fuel to clean that up and yeah I mean I just wanted to update y'all and show y'all some of the progress I've been doing so yeah if y'all like the videos give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe if y'all are new help me grow my channel and uh, if y'all like this content you know tell some people about it and I'll be making more I mean I'm planning on doing everything to this truck I got quite a quite a bit accomplished I feel so far and this is just the back end guys so we haven't even started on the engine we haven't we've been working on the interior I got something going on with it right now and I don't want to tell you all about it but y'all just have to stay tuned for that because I got some parts already in my garage waiting to be installed it's just some other things I want to get tied in there but I appreciate y'all staying tuned to the end and uh, I'll see y'all next time See ya.